This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Push the right button, you piece of shit, Bennett. There we go. Hello, everybody. How are you? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready to go, ready to talk to you, ready to talk to our citizens panel in about a half hour. But, you know, every now and then we get together with an old friend of ours. And uh, what we like most about it is he's got Skype and we can do it, uh, well, something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at <laughs> Will Durst. I guess that's the simple way of putting it. How you doing, Will? You're looking live at yeah, Alex Bennett uh, with yeah. Will Durst. Yeah, every now and then we uh, call Will and we uh, uh, check in with his political wisdom. Uh, don't have much. I, I, I can't believe what's going on that... Uh, Republicans are pushing this incredible tax bill. Yeah. They're getting, they're getting rid of winter heating subsidies for the elderly. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Winter heating subsidies for the elderly. How, how cruel are these people? I mean, how terrible can you try to be? We have to stimulate the rich. Uh, what, I, I, yeah, yeah, get them blowjobs. <laughs> That'll keep them happy. No, remote controlled cattle prod suppository. That'll work. <laughs> then every time every time they do something the public doesn't like, they can push a button. Exactly. You know. And, and we'll be judicious. You no, know, we'll but, only do it when they need it. What is I mean, what is with this? We uh, seem to be living at a time of great um, <sighs> evil, of great terrible actions towards other people. I mean what you're taking a wilderness and you're cutting it down by what 75 percent 80 percent so that people can uh, drill and and dig and, and carve out pieces of it yeah yeah and by the way we should mention there are indian burial grounds in there has nobody seen poltergeist <laughs> Oh man, it, it it's it's getting it's getting it's getting pretty terrible. It's getting pretty it, terrible. It's getting terrible. Yeah, yeah. And it's only a year in. God, only only a year in. Yeah. Well, next at least year, at next le year will be at, very at, scary. At least it's a year in. <laughs> you know, at least it's not a couple of months in. So. You know, yeah. Next year, next year is going to be very pivotal. Yeah, next year determines the fate of the world. Yeah. And, oh, <laughs> let, let, let's just to check this week. Uh, Roy Moore. He comes leading out the, leading the polls. Well, leading the polls. Yeah, absolutely. Which makes me feel that we should boycott Alabama. <laughs> no, really, I'm serious. Don't go there. Don't do business with it. You know. Who goes there? I don't know. A bunch of people vote for a guy who's a pederast. He's, uh, you just, you only go there on your way to Florida or New Orleans. You yeah, know, you yeah. just and you right get through Alabama. And you get through it as fast as possible. You know, the only thing I remember about Alabama is going there once. So back in the. Oh, God, it had to be the 60s, late 60s. And um, this was at the time when they had all the all the stuff going on in the South. And uh, passing by a sign that said, Selma Police Authority begins here. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing about Alabama. We stayed in Montgomery. So we booked into a hotel. And we, you know go to the front desk and we ask for a room and he says okay room blah 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 and I give him the money and we go up to room blah 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 and I notice that it's a door where they have painted over but not so it completely obliterated it a swastika <laughs> yes 
They gave you the swastika yeah. room. Welcome, welcome to Alabama. You know, so we were happy to get out of there as fast as possible. You know, we slept with our eyes open that night. Were you, were you Alex Bennett or Bennett Schwartzman at the time? Well, I was Alex Bennett in Houston, but uh, but I signed in as Bennett Schwartzman. And so, oh, give the Jew boy the, the swastika room. The swastika room. Yeah. Oh, man. Isn't that amazing? So uh, anyway, so it, it's been, it, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I mean, this guy just tries to see how evil he can be. He's just ripping apart anything Obama ever did. And I think it all happened during that uh, uh, congressional correspondence dinner. Yes, Washington yes, correspondence that's dinner. it. That's it. And I think I think he oh. just didn't enjoy having this uppity black guy take him out in front of the entire country. And, and he made a vow that day. You you watch it, black boy, and I don't think he said black boy. I I think he and his father are are pretty die in the heart, you know, died in the wool racists. Yeah, yeah. So I I uh, you're right. Everything that uh, if if there was a certain meal served at the White House at the request of Obama, he would make sure it wasn't served any longer. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is a vitriolic man with no humanity in him whatsoever. He, he doesn't understand. He never took a bus in his life. In his life, he never took a bus. Subway. Yeah. Never took the, a subway. No. You know, we've had, we've had mayors of this town who take subways every day just so they can be with the people and see what the people are like, you know? Uh, How is your town? How are you guys dealing How's the Avenue of the Americas? No, the Avenue of the Americas is still the Avenue of the Americas, even though if you live here and you've, you're a New Yorker or died in the wool New Yorker, you refer to it as Sixth. <laughs> it, it's but never isn't been. That where is, Trump Tower is? Huh? Isn't Trump Tower on Sixth? Si, no, it's on Fifth. Oh, it is. It's on Fifth behind all the barricades. They've completely oh. ruined that area of town. Do you know fifth, we we spend two? At what? Hmm. Fifth and what? Oh God, fifth and forty second. Uh, no, or not forty second. No, it's more in. The, it's in the fifties. It's about two, three. I'd say it's fifty, seventy-eight, fifty-six, fifty-fifth. I'd say maybe fifty-fifth and fifty-fourth, somewhere between. Uh, there. Yeah, because fifty-seventh is where the park starts, right? Yeah, and uh, you go there, and it's like a battle zone. I mean, it's amazing, and we spend the city of New York. Spends two hundred thousand dollars. Is it a week? Yeah, a week. Uh, to uh, protect it. That's ten million a year. Yep, yep. So I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money we're spending, and and it's taxpayer money. And uh, you know, if you pay uh, if you pay a couple hundred a couple of thousand dollars in taxes a year, that doesn't even go towards clearing it up. You know. Yeah. So, and he doesn't. And he doesn't live there anymore. I say, you know, I say let them take their chances on somebody bombing the place. Come on. <laughs> you know. I don't think he spent one weekend in the White House. Not one. Not one? Not one. Not one. Jets off to his uh, uh, Florida or New Jersey or wherever he's got to go. But, but he, I don't think he spent one weekend in the White House. By the way, the good news is Mar-a-Lago isn't doing great business. Oh really? Yeah, it's it's having troubles uh, because people are canceling like crazy. They don't want to be part of it. They don't want to. They don't want to hold their meeting there. No, if no, if people found out, it circulated. Yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, so and so had his meetings at Mar-a-Lago. You're kidding? No, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my question is, how evil can these guys get? They go. They wake up in the morning. They go. <laughs> You know, what can I do today to make the people's lives more miserable than they already are? You know, uh, 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 for instance, I don't know what his motivation is. I have no idea. If you're a student and you get a uh, a, a, a scholarship, it'll say fifty thousand dollars. You have to pay taxes on that under this. <laughs> is that? I mean, isn't a scholarship? Isn't 
giving somebody a, a break on their education, an investment in America. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But what does he know about good investments? He never made one. I still, I still think that he's not a billionaire. You know. Oh, I when I was doing All my show it's, that he had with Merv Griffin. When I was when I was doing my show at Sirius XM, and you know Donald Trump at that time was just an oaf you go, you laughed at. Okay, uh, I said I challenge him to come into this room and put a uh, uh, hundred thousand dollars on the table. I said I bet he can't come up with it. You know, he billionaire bullshit. He was a billionaire in publicity only because that's how he made his living by selling his name on buildings he didn't even own. No, he licenses himself. Yeah, he's a franchise. Can't wait till he makes license plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think about all these other guys? What do you think is going to happen with Flynn? Do you think Do you think this is going to wind up in some kind of an impeachment or some kind of a... Uh... That's what I'm saying. 18 depends because the House indicts yeah. and Senate uh, holds the trial. Yeah. So the Senate prosecutes. So if they can flip Alabama, and I think there's a lot of stealth anti-Trump sentiment out there. And it's possible they might be able to, to get this Alabama seat, which will narrow them down to 51-49. Of course, it's a special election, so I don't know when the real... Where Moore's going for the Congress? He's going for the House? Senate. Senate. He's going for the Senate. That's what I thought. So, so you're saying that will make a difference? Yeah. Well, that'll make a difference in the prosecution, but if the Democrats can get enough 28, 2018, and they should. They should be able to take the House in 2018. And if they don't, there's something seriously wrong with our electoral system. Well, or something we'll seriously fight. wrong with the Democratic Party, which we all know is a yeah. fact. There's been something seriously wrong with the Democratic Party since they weren't able to convince Mitch McConnell to allow Obama's pick to go into uh, the Supreme Court. They should have not done anything they should have put their foot but they kept thinking oh hillary's gonna win so what difference does it make and it's the, the democrats are just totally useless they're they're as useless as an ejection seat in a helicopter <laughs> i never heard that one before <laughs> yes you never do see ejection seats in helicopters well, as, how, as, you, as a pistol range in a bouncy house. Well, you know something. You, you, in a way, with a helicopter, you can't you can't crash a helicopter. What happens is, uh, if you're coming down, and it, you've lost all power, the rotors keep going, because just because of the wind, right? And you slowly go to the ground. Oh. Yeah, but I if you hit a telephone that. line, you're toast. Or a tree, your toast, or anything that that would impede the rotors. Okay, your descent. Yeah, yes. but if you went down, if suddenly you started to crash and you went straight down into a parking lot, you wouldn't you wouldn't crash. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. Nah. I mean, look at how Bill Graham, our old friend Bill Graham, died. He hit a power line in the rain. In the rain. Yeah. What are you doing in a helicopter in the rain? Well, he was trying. He wanted to get home, and he was in a rush. And he never got there, you know, which was a shame because I like Bill. He was he was he was cool. Bill uh, Bill was a good friend of Bobby Slate. I don't know why they they hung up. And uh, I was so jealous. I wanted I wanted to be Bill because you know he had the connection to Lenny Bruce and he was old timey and yeah. And I Bill thought, Graham, by oh. the way, was a promoter in San Francisco of great note. He was the promoter yeah. and. And also played and, Lucky Luciano and Bugsy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bill came to my show one time after a concert because he ran the punchline. He owned the punchline. Yeah. And and the Waldorf that was next to it. And then they moved the Waldorf down to uh, the Blue Note, which is now Cobbs. But mm -hmm. uh, that's ancient. But Bill came in to see my show. So I'm excited. I go on stage. And I'm strutting, and I'm I'm hitting on all cylinders. You know, it's one of those sets. Yeah. 
and I've had a couple where every syllable and every gesture, and I come off stage, and Bill has fallen asleep at the bar. He <laughs> hasn't seen anything. And so that was it for you. No, I just didn't. Yeah. We should call this Coffee with Durst and Bennett. <laughs> you know? You got to have your coffee, right? Yeah, I got the Cafe du Monde mug. Uh, oh, that's from uh, New Orleans. That's be yeah, be yeah. the best beignets in the world. Yep. Yep. Uh, by the way, uh, what coffee are you drinking today? Um, I always have it marked because when we go away, we have a babysitter to take care of the two cats. <laughs> okay. And we just went to Hawaii and yeah. we came back. I know because I knew you were in Hawaii because I got a thing saying you were in Hawaii and I was afraid we weren't going to be able to do this thing today. Oh, no, no. We just got back yesterday. Yeah. So, uh, Sunday night. Yeah. And so it's Pete's. Pete's. And this is ground. Yeah. Usually I have whole bean. It's half organic French roast and half decaf French roast. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I uh, I, I, I usually like to do this Major Dickinson's. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I get the K-Cups. You probably don't. You probably like, you look like you're a, a real coffee drinker. So you, you make a whole big pot. I've got here, this is, now mine today is Death Wish oh, coffee. 50 days. What's that? I, I have no backups for 50 days. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> I have, uh, this is Death Wish coffee today. Oh, really? How is that? I like it. Is it I, strong? I, I can't. You know something? All coffees taste weak to me. I don't know. Well, it's it's good. It's a aromatic. They it comes in a a, 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 a a what do you call it? a sealed package? So when you open it up, you got the smell of coffee in there. And they they just packed it the day that they send it to you. So it's oh, cool. really fresh, really fresh. So oh, so you get it by mail? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I get it through. I get everything through Amazon. If I want a bottle of aspirin, I order it on Amazon. Are you walk up or elevator? What at Amazon? No. Oh no, I have an elevator. Oh okay. Yeah, and yet they still leave it in the lobby where anybody can steal it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, but uh, uh, it, we, you know, um, um, it's good coffee. It's good coffee. Now, uh, well, what do you think about all the uh, all the all the stuff's been happening with uh, the. Uh, serial rapists and everything you know the uh, well it's a pendulum swing you mm -hmm. know i mean first it was over here and nobody was saying nothing and then people came out and now and now someone accused garrison keeler yeah of touching her back while he was consoling her and then she recoiled and he apologized and she accepted his apology and then her lawyer called and that's exactly <laughs> how Garrison Keillor explained it. Now, I'm no big fan of Garrison Keillor, okay? I find him pretentious. You know, you probably don't agree with me, but I find him pretentious. I'm, I don't like that mandolin kind of entertainment that everybody <laughs> thinks that it's powder milk biscuits and stuff but i understand how it appeals to a certain crowd well, no i understand that as you say it's not my cup of tea the pbs crowd is a crowd who likes their entertainment boring oh man i don't get it yeah anyway um uh but uh what what gets me is i finally decided you know what me too is a is a is a is equivalent to bigotry I think that these feminists today have morph, morphed into bigots in which every guy is bad, you know? Well, here's, here's the thing. Every woman that you've ever met, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying this doesn't happen to guys, and it does happen to guys with, you know, weird, crazy uncles and stuff, but every woman you ever met in your entire life yeah. Has been groped or leered at or ogled or, or or guys who hug much too long or or cheek kisses that somehow are wet 
or the hand goes somewhere where it doesn't belong. And every your grandmother, your great grandmother, your sister, your mother, every woman you yeah. ever met yeah. had this happen to them on a daily fucking basis. So for them to right now go out and be bigoted, yeah, yeah, this is their envelope. This is their time. Yeah, it's not but, always going to be like this. But is it They're right, and, and are we not, uh, is it not going to be hurting people who perhaps, as you say, like with a Garrison Keeler, just wanted to console somebody? You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to happen, but it's it's as I said, it's the pendulum swing. You well, know, I mean, but, but that doesn't make, that doesn't make it right. Frank, it's all, oh. Al Franken. I'm not a big Al Franken fan. I find him as you find Garrison Keillor. Yeah. But Franken, his hand touched their butt. Now, now there's there's so many different levels of a hand touching the butt. Yeah. And George H. W. Bush. He's 93 fucking years old. He touched your butt. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that's all he could touch. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair. If, if he just wanted to put his arm around you, he'd grab your butt because that's all he can grab. You know? But, well, all, but, well, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is what's happened is... You're is, going too far and you're making, you're making real assault... And you're conflating everything so that really Al Franken touched you. Who well, asked well, for the photo? By going, did Al Franken ask you to take a photo so he could touch your butt? Or did you ask Al Franken to take a photo? And now you're claiming he touched your butt. Well, that's how you take a photo is that one hand goes behind the other person. Now, what he does with his hand is up to you. And it could have also he could have put his hand around that and accidentally slipped and hit the button and moved his hand up higher. We don't know. There, there's, Believe there's me, there are no days. there are no photo ops anymore. There are no selfies any longer. No, you no. can't do that. But here's no. here's the thing. Number one, I find that for instance, when you conflate Al Franken with uh, uh, Harvey Roy Weinstein Hein or, or Roy Moore. You trivialize what Weinstein did. You trivialize what Moore did. And you also, at the same time, are involving yourself in a kind of modern McCarthyism in which you are suddenly going, it's like a Salem witch trial. You know, let's go find everybody that ever touched a button. Let, you know, I'm glad that I, I don't have any kind of uh, uh, cachet anymore. In the in show business, otherwise somebody would be coming after me, and I don't know who it could possibly be because I never acted in an improper way. But one but nutcase, one nutcase can come. I know a couple of women who were nutcases who might come forward and make claims that were not true. And that's not to say that only women are nutcases. There are men nutcases, and yes. there are a lot of men nutcases. Exactly. Stalk, and 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 pastor and part of this is because of uh, you know the the way nature uh, designed a woman to she's vulnerable she gives childbirth uh, she's supposed to be erogenous and in order to continue the species she's supposed to be all that yeah you know, of course and she's ten percent smaller than the man so the man is 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 larger and bulkier and physically more imposing and there, and there's a lot but she she uh, she matures faster and and some might say she has a monopoly well the fact that guys hit on women okay is somewhat biological yeah and and, and uh while a lot of us, like right. you, like you and me, right. in, in our yeah. in our time, have been able to stifle that urge, okay, even though it is a natural urge, uh, you know, I mean, guys, you know, if they look at a woman walk by and she's got big tits and they stare at them, that's because the biological urge is taking over. So what we're doing is we're trying to fight biology too here, and trying to blame some things on just natural biological actions. Uh, the question is, did he rape you? No. Okay. Did he do anything which in any way violated you? Well, not really. You know, what did Al Franken do? You know? 
I mean, the, 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 the woman that accused Al Franken uh, is a right winger. She believes Obama, he, she's a birther. She went on Hannity a few years ago as a birther. You know, and, I, I and on top of that, worst of all, right. worst of all, worst of all, she has a radio show, so she wants publicity. I think that's why Franken um, called for an ethics investigation, which they won't do. They'll just wait for it to settle down because he wants he wants all the facts out. The fact that she didn't say anything for, what, 10 years or something. Yeah. And, and suddenly, yeah. Well, Conyers today resigned. Yeah, he wants his son to take his place. <laughs> well, it, my question is, he wants to resign. Shouldn't that have been something he did a few years ago? He's 88 fucking years old. Is he 88? He's I 88. I mean, come on. They don't... Yeah, well, he's passing legislation through sense memory. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, and look, I, I'm I'm not getting any younger. Look at me, I'm hideous. Uh, uh, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm you know getting, what? You look great for seventy-seven. Yeah, but uh, 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 and almost seventy-eight. <clears throat> anyway, so I I kind of am, you know, um, very aware that people dismiss you as you get older. Okay, because I I have that feeling. I mean, Invisible. my talent is being dismissed. Uh, by an industry because I'm older. If I walk in, I'm Alex Bennett. I'm 77 years old. I don't lie about my age. Uh, they kind of like, oh, you're a real pro. <laughs> you know, I mean, and that's it. Uh, so I'm not the I'm the first one to say no. You don't retire at a certain age, but 88, I think you do. You know, 88, well, I think you do. Yeah. Uh, because at, at this point, you know, when history starts repeating itself, he'll be the first to know. He can alert the rest of us. The history has repeated itself. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Will. I just love you. Hey, we run out of time. Hey, buddy. Uh, this is always, uh, you know, uh, once every three weeks, and I always have a great time. Yeah. And, uh, and so does know. the audience, by the way, because whenever you're on... People, I notice people are more and more people watch, you know. So, oh, well, tell them to come to my website, willdurst.com. Willdurst.com. That's D U R S T, like the guy who was the murderer. Like and, my cousin Bobby. Huh? Bobby <laughs> like Durst. Cousin Bobby. Bobby you, you're no relation, are you? No. No, 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 no. No, no. no me and Seymour? No. no. <laughs> Seymour Durst, he's the guy who owns most of Times Square. And now his foundation. Oh, and now you wish you uh, you wish you knew you were related yeah. to him. Yeah. Yeah. No. And that there would be a slight stipend once he kicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no such luck. You're probably on the poor poor Durst side, right? I am indeed. I am what kind indeed. of? By the way, before we go, what kind of name is that? Um, we don't know. Although. There were a bunch of people in Glarus, Switzerland, named Durst, and some preacher, you know, and I'm sure he was a minister or, you know, not a priest, but some clergy guy, took his entire flock from Glarus, Switzerland, to New Glarus, Wisconsin. And that's where there's a lot of Dursts, and my dad was an orphan, so we have no idea, but we know the name is right. The na That's his mother's maiden name. We don't know what the father, yeah. we have no idea, but yeah. we just know he was a Durst somehow, so that's right. Yeah. And then my mom was a Strauss and a Gruber, and it might have been Schickel Gruber, but we're not sure. You actually, what? <laughs> that was Hitler's real name. <laughs> Shut uh, up! <laughs> I thought I'd have to say that for the audience who doesn't know that was Hitler's real name, Schickel Gruber. Uh, I'm glad he, I would have changed it to Hitler, you know, if I was named Schickel Gruber. Uh, I'm sure all the Schickel Grubers in Austria agreed with you. <laughs> but no, what I did, what I, a girlfriend did it for both of us. Oh, sent, the DNA thing? The DNA thing. Which one? Uh, uh, the Mormons, uh, Ancestry. 23? Yeah. Oh, Ancestry. Ancestry DNA. Yeah, uh, com. So anyway, how did, we did. Oh, how, how did it, it come out? I'm 99% Jewish. No shit. Yeah, yeah. And she's 80, she's 80, 80, 80, uh, what is it? 
92 percent Jewish. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, you, you know, it's not like they were sending me anything. That, you know, and plus, I don't think Jewish is the answer I want. <laughs> no, no, it's not that I want to be known as a Catholic. OK, forget that because you got too many rules there. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I, I wanted to find out some little things. I, I, you know, tell me exactly where I'm from. It just gave me a general area of Poland. Um, Germany, I know that already, no. you know. And then after you do that, they keep sending you these fucking things to try and get you to go to the next level. It's almost like uh, Scientology. Go to the next level of, <laughs> of, of the DNA thing. You're, you know? you're six percent Thaden. <laughs> I'm six percent Thaden. <laughs> Oh, love it. Anyway, hey, let's do this again. Uh, we got holidays coming up. We'll figure out someday. What's you know. today? The 6th? Yeah, that would put a squarely yeah. around Christmas. Yeah, so. yeah 26th. Yeah. You want to do Tuesday the 26th? Yeah, well, we'll talk about it after we're finished boxing here. Day? Yeah. Yeah. No, let's do uh, boxing. We'll do Boxing Day, but stick around after this. And uh, to everybody else, we say goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, to the wonderfulness that is Will Durst. I will. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that's our good friend Will Durst. We really enjoy talking with him. We, and we enjoy the fact that you can also see him as well. And, and that's always a good thing, too. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me get rid of all this other stuff that's on my screen and bring up my, uh, my Skype because that's where we get the citizen panel to call. Uh, we now have our Skype online. Uh, and uh, what the citizen panel is all about, in case you've never had anything to do with this program, and the question would be, of course, why haven't you? But if you're, uh, if you're somebody who wants to call the program, go over to gabnet.net over the right-hand side of the page. It has all the, it's a tutorial on how to call this program using Skype. And then you call us and we uh, talk with you along with a, a whole bunch of other people. This isn't one of those talk shows where one person talks to another person, talks to another, you know, then, then another person calls and talks to the host and another person. This is a thing where we have a group discussion and it's, I think, far more immersive than uh, any other kind of talk format that's gone before. And it's probably the only new uh, way of doing talk in the 40 years or so of talk radio, maybe 50 years of talk radio. How many long has talk radio been going on? Far too long. Somebody should put a bullet through its head. But anyway, so then, then I give out the phone. There's a phone number there as well that you can call. You can use the phone number to call the show. In fact, it's, on your, it's going to be on your screen in a few minutes. Uh, right now it's not on your screen because I don't have uh, the, uh, the panel up yet. Uh, but w once it comes on, there's a phone number there. Uh, you can use that. You won't be able to see other people, and we won't be able to see you. But you can still be part of the program. Uh, but just by using your, your telephone or your wireless device or whatever it is. Uh, and uh, you call us, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, uh, have you join our panel. Um, but I uh, now sit here, and it's, it's a waiting game in which I wait for somebody to call the program. And so far, we don't have anybody. We don't have anybody calling the program. So I don't know who, who is out there and who isn't out there. Uh, but uh, uh, you, you, if, if, if uh, you're out there, call me, okay? Uh, not a lot to talk about, but I'd rather do it with the citizen panel than to sit here and bellyache about it myself. But, you know, I could start out by saying that I saw one great movie this weekend. Uh, and if you don't see any other movie this year, I suggest this movie. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Guillermo del Toro, but he is a very fine director who's dealt primarily in what we couldn't call it the horror genre. I call it the fantasy genre. Uh, and he's an amazing storyteller. He did a thing called Pan's Labyrinth, which was his last really great film. And then he's done a bunch of other things, which have been okay. But this new film of his is just spectacular. 
It is, I think, so far of all the films I've seen this year, it's the best movie I've seen this year. And I think there are going to be lots of awards for it and a lot of nominations for it. And uh, it will, uh, it, it's, uh, it's just a, a great, uh, um, it's a great film. So, you know, uh, let me see here. We have some callers here. So let me, wait a minute, I'm trying to, uh, uh, Mike, you're causing problems here. Let me just not, not have him on, but let me go to, uh, let me see here. We have Phil Meyer. Anyway, the film, again, that I, that I was trying to talk about was, uh, is, uh, is called um, um, uh, the, um, the, the, the well, now I'm all fucked up here. The, 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 hold on a second. I have the name right here. Hold on. I just uh, check it out. Um, it, it, because it has, a, it has a weird title, to tell you the damn truth. Uh, yeah, The Shape of Water. And it's, uh, uh, it is the creature from the Black Lagoon falls in love. That's basically it. But it is, it, it's so good that I think the woman in this movie will be nominated for Best Actress. And I think the film will be nominated for Best Film. It is that good a picture. Phil, uh, 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 listen, I'm going to have to ask you to do something, Mike. Move that microphone away from your mouth because you have a tendency to yeah. snarfle and do a lot of noises like that. Uh, yeah, how's pro that? Probably from all those years of, not, of smoking too much. I don't know. Um, uh, oh, sleeping with the fishes. Y yeah. What? Since so you drinking death, uh, uh, death, death house coffee. Death wish. My, my, uh, my godchildren sent me a coffee cup from Death Wish. From Death Wish. Oh. Now you know what they think about you. Gee, I bought all those. I bought all those coffees from Death Wish, and they've never sent me anything. You know. So. Oh, well, you got to you got to order the coffee cup, Alex. Yeah. And you were saying something about the Catholics. Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me finish talking about the movie first. Okay. Okay. Uh, but anyway, this movie is, I'm telling you, uh, I think it's the best movie of the year so far. And, and I know it sounds like uh, the kind of movie that, oh, how could this possibly be a picture that anybody would, would want to nominate for an Academy Award because it's about a... Uh, about a, a creature he, he, ins he was inspired by the film the creature from the black lagoon and but it's what if the creature from the black black lagoon actually fell in love and and it it's it is i just gotta tell you i mean i i can't describe it and make you want to go see it all i can say is after you see it you will walk out of the theater looking at each other and going wow i just saw a great film it's that good so, but you're not going to see it, are you, Phil? No, uh, is it in theaters now? Yep. But you're not um, going to go see it, are you? Nah. No, <laughs> you're not going to go see it, are you, Jeff? No, probably not. Yeah, see, well, why, why, why not? Well, first of all, uh, we, I just don't go to movies. Oh, okay. Well, that's watch. that's good. Yeah. Uh, how how many gunfights do they get in in the first five minutes? None. Of the None. Then no. I'm not going to see it. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and Rob, are you, you going to go see it, or will you take my? I don't, my... Uh -huh. I don't see anything that's not playing in my theater. Well, it'll be in your theater soon. It'll. No, I, no. I, it's I, home theater. I think right now it's in New York, Los Angeles, and a couple of other major cities, and then it's going to go out across the entire country. So. And then it'll make it to my. Huh? Then it has to make it to my. To your theater. theater, yeah. Which is two levels down. Yeah, which is two levels down. Uh, do you have a comfy chair theater there? Oh, uh, you know, I don't even know. Yeah. You know what we do have here, and I like going there, is a place called the Alamo Draft House. Yeah. The Alamo Draft House serves a full menu of food while you're watching the movies. Now, I, I don't know if oh, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you, uh, do you, I don't know if I buy that concept. I thought about I, that years ago. Wouldn't it be nice if they serve food? And then I went, you know, it's, it, it's annoying to the people around you. No, uh, it's very, uh, it's very unassuming. There's lots of room because you have a table in front of you. You got this long table in front of you. So, and there's room for the cocktail wait waitresses to, to get to you without being in the way of anybody else. Mm -hmm. You don't notice that they're serving people. 
it's it's a great experience because not only is the food pretty tasty, it's you know what do you pay when you go for a popcorn and a soda at a movie theater? Twenty bucks. Yeah, you know you can get a whole meal for about fifteen eighteen dollars. Burgers and wings I got I got news for you. Food. Popcorn's a whole meal at a movie theater. You know, and plus you can get those tacos and chips and things like that that they serve in some of those places. Which is I like that Alamo Draft House. When we go, if we do go to a theater, yeah. that's where we. Yeah. Oh, we're yes, Santa. He screwed up my my Christmas. I went to see Santa, uh, and uh, he wasn't there. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Are you are you are you, are you griping? Are you griping about uh, Kevin? Yes, I, I went down uh, to Monterey over the weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, I stopped by on Sunday on the way back about a quarter to four, mm -hmm. and all I got was an empty chair. See? Empty uh, uh, quarter to four. four. I left it on my own. Wait a minute, you're echoing. You're, you've got, somebody's got their speaker on. Hello? Hello? Hear that? Hello? Somebody's speaking. Who is it? Who is it? They got speakers. I think it might be Charlene. The only name that's yeah. on all the time is Bob. Yeah, no, it was Charlene. I think she, she muted. It was me. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there's the empty chair. Is that the chair? Is that your chair? That's my chair. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you... I left about uh, an hour before that because I had to get my daughter to a parade in San Juan Batista. Yeah, but you know, there's all... kids like me are going to miss seeing Santa. Yeah, you and a bunch of other kids were pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> But, File a complaint, Phil. File a complaint. Yeah. You came That's this close. Happens. You came this close to missing Kevin in his role of a lifetime. Yeah. See. Oh, uh, so I was I, I, I was there. Uh, that, well, you might have been there, but were you in the chair? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You weren't in the chair. No, I uh yeah, that's the chair right there. Yeah. What are you doing, Charlene? It's annoying. Oh, I don't know. You know, I'm apologizing, and if I'm bad, I'll get off. What are you, Canadian? I, no, um, can you hear me better? I was sticking my fingers in the uh, the microphone holes and stuff, and I watched it back on YouTube. You were sticking it your fingers awful, in the microphone holes? <laughs> what do you mean? You're doing what? I kept, what hearing, I kept hearing Rob telling, you know, Charlene's got her finger on the microphone holes. And then I was like, oh, my God, I think I heard him saying that. You know, but what I do you mean? You better, you, you better baby-proof your microphone. You know, I know little kids that you'd stick their fingers in sockets. <laughs> it could be the same. Am I of... any better now? Because uh, my laptop isn't working right. I don't know what's going on, but I didn't want to, you know. Well, we, but, see, we see you. Oh. Yeah. Well, Alex, did you see the HBO, um, what is it called, Newspaper Man, Ben Bradley? Yeah. I, I was going crazy because I watched that, and right after it, they they had all the president's men, and I'm like, there's no mm -hmm. computer, no cell phone. It was teletype, typewriter, right? Yeah. I mean, they they had a there's no computer to look it up. They had a girl researching it. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. And I just got so excited because the First Amendment is freedom of the press, right? Right. And we're going through the same thing with uh, Trump now, right? Mm -hmm. It's like hopefully it's going to be faster, you know, than uh, Watergate, right? Yeah, I guess. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, I don't. And the, know. The, oh, the bill went through right on Saturday. Yeah, well, it, I mean, uh, well, it went out through through the Senate portion of it. Yeah, yeah. now, yeah, now it has to go back. It's never. It's not been passed yet. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. It's still up on Capitol Hill, like Schoolhouse Rock. I, it's, it's, I guess, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm just a stuff. bill. I'm on Capitol Hill. Yeah, yeah. You you know the drill. It's going to happen. <laughs> you, you know. Um, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Have you guys seen like uh, Cory Booker, my senator? He put it up on Facebook, and I thought it was great. He had like it's so thick. It's like uh, you know they they show you how thick it is, and 
it has all these edits in it that you can't read and everything, and they were all complaining, some of the Democratic uh, people that had to look at it, like how awful it was and what they had to read and stuff like that. It was interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what yeah. happened to Al Franken, by the way? Is there anything going on with him? Uh, well, no, not really. But John Conyers resigned. Right, right. Uh, I saw that. Which, you know, at 88, I think that's not a bad <laughs> idea. Right, right. You, you know, I, I heard him saying he was quitting, and it didn't sound really too terribly coherent, but he quit. And uh, I, I now everybody can lay off and not not zero gripe about you know about him being in Congress any longer. But uh, mm -hmm. you know. however, he didn't apologize to anybody, and he didn't say he did anything wrong. He was just getting out of dodge, and then suggested everybody vote for his son. By the way, let me tell people we've been joined by a couple of people. Uh, our old friend Mark Green is with us. Bob Eberth is with us again tonight. Of course, Rob Alfano, Phil Meyer. Anthony Magno just joined us, as did Charlene Martinez, Kevin, and Jeff Stein. So there we Full. go. Full house already. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Mm. I wish that were, there were that many people watching it, but, you know, who knows? Right. You know. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm glad Mark was... Wait, wait what, was, what is that? It, it, where, where is that echo coming from? Was that you, Tony? No. Maybe is it me? No, I no, thought it's I guess. Bob Moore. Huh? Is it me now? Yeah, it's yeah. Bob. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Turn, yeah. Yeah. Well, turn your mic turn off your now, mic. Bob. Yeah, it's you, Bob. There's some somehow you're 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 you've got some sound going through somewhere from the audio from the show. I think he's using speakers and not a headphones, and uh, the speaker is feeding back into the mic. I, I think that's probably what it is. Yeah. How is it now? Fine, good, terrific. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see here. So, so nobody's interested in seeing the movie I saw. Son of a bitch! You're gonna miss. A, you're gonna miss a great. Well, actually, movie. it looks interesting. It was Del Toro, right? But what's the name of it? The Shape of Water. The shape of water. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, you watch. It's 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 going to get nominated for tons of stuff. It's got some great acting in it. Uh, it's uh, it's really it's quite terrific. Quite terrific. He uses a lot of effects and things like that, right? Hardly any. Oh, in this. Hardly any effects. It's not what I would oh, call. Oh God, it. Alex! In, Alex, did you hear? In fact, um, the, the the creature. Tarantino. The, wait, let me Tarantino. finish, uh, Charlene. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He didn't. He, even the creature is not uh, CGI. He's a guy in a in a in a suit, uh, and it's it's total becomes totally believable. It, 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 it he's also the guy that plays the alien on Star Trek uh, Discovery as well. And uh, his name is Doug Jones, and he is really terrific in this film. I mean, there are a lot of great performances. Richard Jenkins is in it. Uh, Michael Shannon is in it. Um, who else is in it? Uh, it's, it's just got a great cast, great acting, great script, great story, and at the end you'll cry your eyes out. You know? So it, 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 we walked out of it, and girlfriend just looked at me and went, Wow. That's all she could say. She was almost speechless. How long did the movie last for? About two hours? Three hours? Two hours on the button. I think it's one hour and 59 minutes. Sounds like a cat in that show. <clears throat> yes, it oh, does. Can I tell you about it now, Alex? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, I, I just got excited because uh, I love Tarantino. He's so weird. I heard that he's going to do a Manson film. You know, like the story and history of the Manson family or something. Did you hear that? No. His pen pal owns the rights. Really? Manson had a pen pal? He imagine him in the rights to all his shit. Uh, well, they're fighting company. over the estate. They're fighting over the estate he has. What estate? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that one the, Beach the guy, Boy song. The, the guy Beach wrote Boy a Beach song. Boy song. Uh, he, he, you know, you got the uh, rights to the book and the story. What do you mean? You don't, I, could write, oh. I could write a book tomorrow on Manson, and he's in public domain in that respect. Mm -hmm. you, don't uh, have to, you don't have to get the rights to a Charles Manson book. That's creepy. 
They're uh, calling Manson crazy now. You know, everything's Manson now. And they're calling Trump crazy. And, you know, well, he that. is crazy. <laughs> He's so well, let's talk. Let's talk for a second about our favorite topic on this from We should just retitle the show. What happened with Trump today? How about Jerusalem? Mm-hmm. He fell in the toilet. Okay. How about Jerusalem and the fact that every every country in the world is saying, "Don't do it." We got enough problems in that part of the world. <laughs> I, I like that you're going to cause violence there. You're going to cause all kinds of stuff by doing this. Do you know cause more violence against Americans too? Yes. In, in fact, they're thinking of uh, pr- pr- asking some of their people to leave there because of this. This, the bad will that will be engendered by moving, uh, uh, moving our uh, our uh, uh, embassy to Jerusalem, and saying we consider that the capital of Israel. I mean, how dare this Gentile decide what the capital of Israel is? It's true. <laughs> you know, it's true. Uh, you got the president of Turkey. He's he's all up in arms, yeah, you know, uh, over well, this. Did no, Turkey or anywhere okay. else come and say, "Well, you know what? The capital of the United States is no longer Washington D.C. Yeah, it's right. Alabama. Sapper. It's Alabama. No, San Francisco. Well, it kind of is <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> uh, I mean, but no, it, what a stupid, stupid, stupid thing to do. I can't mean, be more stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, this may cause tensions in that part of the world, which are worse than the tensions that are there already. I mean, we, if see you, if Iran has the bomb. Uh, what does that have to do with it? You're pushing for the end of the world. You yeah, all he, Trump's well, supporters. if you're pushing for the end of the world, you should be glad Trump is president because there's a good chance. We're going to get know, there. Yeah, he's, he's going to do something that's going to fuck up because he does okay. everything out of vindictiveness and nothing out of common sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think what are you going to say? He so wants this to happen. Why? He wants. Stir Trump the, stir wants. The pot. To, he wants to stir the pot. He wants to have terrorist attacks here, so yep. he can justify all of his bullshit. Yep. Well, yep. and take everyone's Court. mind off of his uh, trials and tribulations. The Supreme and, Court said that his ban on Muslim uh, countries uh, has been upheld. No, wait a minute. They did not uphold it. No, they, they said did. all points. No, they didn't uphold it. What they did was they said, we will let it stay for the time being, and we, we're sending it back to the lower courts to decide. Does that sound like they said we, uh, we uphold it? It's, yeah. It, no, it was, it was not a Supreme Court decision that this law go through. It was just that for the time being, it will stand while the lower courts work on it. That works. That's, that's <laughs> that's not allowed in England. Well, that's not exactly a ringing endorsement by the Supreme Court. Yeah. Well, you know, the. And once we again, Phil got it all wrong. Two, Everybody, two have a drink. Judges in Hawaii that struck down uh, his, uh, his, uh, his edict and, uh, uh, you know, it caused it to go to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, the Supreme Court doesn't feel that it's, uh, that it should stand. Hey, you want to laugh, too? My stupid cousin, Alex, voted for Trump. She was all happy and shit. And then she says, oh, they're raising my health insurance rates by 10%. Big fucking deal. I, I laughed. I'm glad. I hope they go out of fucking business, really. <laughs> did you hear it? Wait a minute. Did you hear it? Uh, he's almost crying that he voted for Trump because a lot of people will have defriended him and everything. And. He said, I'm so sorry I did it now. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah, they all surprised. Oh, look, I, uh, yeah, somebody defriended you. That's like a real sign of anything to worry about, you know. <laughs> Hurt my feelings. Hey, <laughs> you know, if, if, if Rob, who is my friend, said I'm defriending you, that would bother me. Yeah. But when yeah. some but guy I like never really met before in my friends. life defriends me, I just put in the click. I just click on another name on the list of people waiting to go on and. You got a waiting list. <laughs> yeah, I got a waiting well, list. It's a, new, it's a it's a it's a it's it's five hundred people long. Yes, uh, uh, Rob, I get a kick out of hearing stories like Tony's with his. Uh, was that your cousin? And, and I swear to God, Rob, she came out and like 
But I don't talk politics, Alex, in, in work. Oh. She's like, they're raising it 10% oh. in that monthly fee. So when she walked back in your office, I'm like, big fucking deal. Yeah. I mean, like, you're not claiming half your money anyway, bro. Any of my family the fucking okay, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let, let Rob talk. Yes, Any Rob. Any of my family and friends in New York. They deserve it. Who live on the island or wherever and are paying ridiculous amounts of taxes, real estate taxes, property taxes, voted for Trump. I'm so happy for you. I, yeah, Rob, I, I when she walked away, I did a fucking jig. I, I, I oh, texted oh, my oh, brother. By, by the my time people start phone. seeing their pay, pay by the time people start, the asshole, now you got them. By the time people start seeing their paycheck after this new tax thing which is the greatest tax uh, reduction in history they're going to they're going to have such buyer's remorse a republican will never get elected again i mean and, alex is it is it wrong of me to feel happy that the rates went up on her i was actually happy i'm happy yeah is that like a mean thing and now here's the newest thing yeah. have you heard about this this is this is a good one uh okay. Aetna, which there are only about four insurance companies in the country Okay. Am I right about that, Jeff? I'm pretty close to that, right? Yeah, you're pretty close. To that. Only about four. Oh, CVS and Aetna, you're going to say yes. that, Alex? Well, thank you very much for blowing it for me, Charlene. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, at least it was not me. <laughs> uh, CVS, which is a pharmacy chain, which is a drugstore, oh, is, is, bu is buying Aetna insurance, which is a health really? insurance Great. company. Which is great because you'll be able to buy uh, uh, insurance right next to your toiletries. So that's kind of right, nice, right. you know. I wonder if they can go at it. I wonder if they get a better rate. But no, well, they, they, what they're saying is they feel that by doing that, they will get a better rate out of the far of the pharmaceutical companies because oh. it, because they will be representing so many people <laughs> and they can negotiate better prices. But does it, if they can negotiate a better price, does that mean they're going to pass it along to you? That's no, no. <laughs> they're also talking about putting clinics in the drugstores. Well, they already, they already have well, kind of not, these. You know, here in New York, we have a bunch of these walk-in clinics, and I've used them because you know when you've got a little thing like an infection or something not like that, eaten. you don't want to wait to go see your doctor who's going to see it in five days. You want it now. And these things you can walk into, and, and I've gone into them, and they've solved my problems every time. So uh, what they want to do and what they are doing in some of the CVSs already is they have these walk-in clinics where they have a doctor there, and he goes, sees you and looks at your, you know, your sore and said, yeah, that's infected. Here's a antibiotics, and go buy antibiotics right, while you're right here at CVS. That's true. That's convenient. Hey, why buy it? Two weeks, it'll fall off by itself. Our 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 big uh, our, our, our our big uh, guy for uh, for uh, health uh, for insurance and stuff is is Jeff. Jeff, does this sound like a good idea? CVS buying Aetna? It's kind of uh, going to reduce. They they will be a much more powerful company, and I'm sure they're gonna. They're doing it for, for their profit. Oh, of course. And, and I think they'll do it. I think they'll be very good at it. They're paying, what did I read? Did I read $53 billion? Or did I read more than that? It's a large amount of money to buy it. Uh, and so that must mean CVS has made a lot of money off of those overpriced pharmaceuticals. <laughs> you know. Um but uh, it, it, you know, I, it, 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 they should be able to negotiate lower prices. What is that noise? Uh, that's you, uh, Mark. I think there's something. Would you mute your mic a second, Mark? Mark, can you hear me? Don't take a UFO. Would you mute your mic, Mark? Oh boy, he's the only one that's showing up as being on. Somebody's got some feedback. It's uh, it's Mark. I'm muting it. It's not me. No, it's not you, Kevin. Mark. Mark. Test, 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 test. Now it's not making that noise anymore. But I think what it was doing is it was sucking the sound out of the room, and uh, causing a causing a problem. You might go into your settings in Skype, and set it so that it doesn't automatically adjust your volume. 
Okay. Okay. Because it might be it might be doing it for that reason. Anyway, where were we? Um, uh, CBS. Yeah. Yeah, that they're going to run every drugstore in the world and every insurance company together. Well, yeah, it's an interesting strategy. I don't know if they're going to get a, they're going to have a problem. Of course, now that Trump's president, he he'll think it's a great idea. He'll yeah. approve it. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um, but by the way, by the way, now let me let me um, let me throw this at you, Phil, because I want to hear how you can possibly make this a good thing. Okay, because you, you managed to, you know, when somebody once told me their philosophy in life was, and it was an interesting piece of philosophy, that you can do a lot of things in life, but the one thing you can't do is shine shit. And you seem to shine shit on this show. Yeah, on <laughs> okay. a regular basis. On a regular basis. Part of the new tax code is that you can no longer take off heating costs. If you're a senior, my mother can't take the heating off the bed. If she's heating costs, there there was supposedly a, a, a tax red, a deduction for being uh, over, I think, over sixty five and she, and and paying for heat. Well, she, I'm not sixty five, but I never heard of that. Well, they that the, what Will Durst, who knows more than you do about this stuff, said that that was part of this new. Uh, probably know more than you me. You probably have to be right. old and at poverty level or something for that. You know, uh, and, and, and and if you're at poverty level, you're not paying any taxes. Anymore. And of course, they're doing away with school lunches, all those things. You know. This man's a bitch so my question to you is. Are we with uh, 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 the politics of the Republicans seems to be just nothing but pure and utter cruelty. It's like can they get up in you, the morning and they go. <laughs> can, can, you, can you parse that any differently? You know, if, if the person that gets the write off is at poverty level and if you're at poverty level, you're not paying any taxes. Why do you need the write off? Because they need the money. No, it's because it's because a you can't afford it, You have no money. It's, it's just no, another it's, useless piece of shit. To, you're to, freezing and you need heat. That's why. That has nothing to do with the tax deduction. You don't yeah, think. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like you don't think. You, you, you don't think, Phil. You don't think, Phil, that elderly people should get a tax deduction for heating. Not if they're at a poverty level that they not No, you're not taxes. at a poverty I'm not, I'm not well, talking about a poverty sure. level I'm talking about what well, you know we give our senior shit in this country we really do you know we disrespect our we anyway, disrespect you know? our, we disrespect our elders okay you know, they, they get and by the way they, speaking of elders I happen to be they, one of them and you disrespect me every time I talk to you they, they walk slowly on the sidewalk in front of you mm. only you, you just push them over sure. Get a fire hose out, you know? Well, good. Uh, when you're walking, good, I'll push you over. Hit you over there. Listen, I, look, I got a statistic for you. Asshole. Do you know that fully 25% of all serial killers have at one time in their life sold carpet? Did you know that? Is, uh, what, uh, did you say, say that again? Yeah. That, that, that you all, heard carpet. Uh, the 25% of, yeah. of all serial killers at one time or another a sold serial. carpet. That, yes, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Matter of fact, talking about serial killers, yeah. Mark gave me a challenge a couple of weeks ago, and I saved my target from, uh, I went shooting a couple of weeks ago. He says, bullshit, you can't put 100 rounds in the same hole at 25 feet. So I saved my target. This is 100 oh rounds. God. Whoopee. Hey. That's 100 rounds at 25 feet. Uh -huh. How do yeah, we know? How do we know you didn't still. take that thing home and poke, ho an and poke a hole in it? <laughs> He's an ex-cop. They trained. You him told me like you that. did that with a forty-five. Yes, I did. Oh my god! It looks like you did it with your finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> M hey, much Mark. like, much like, yeah, you went like this. Yeah, yeah, worry, It's, it's mm -hmm. the same hole. The same. We got it in the brain box. Yeah. No, you were using, you were using Charlene's finger. Yeah, yeah, to, to cut the hole. Oh, Jesus. Out That's of what you did. Rounds, Where's my finger? I can't do three it. Three no. in the white. The rest of well, them. Uh, all I can tell you, Phil, is you should be in the Olympics. You should, you should be in the Olympics. You should I, be in the Olympics. I, Olympics the, the I, was, 
I was that near uh, in '92. That's what they told me that uh, I was I was Olympic uh, level shooter. Yeah. You're and it was 25 level. feet, not two and a half feet. No, it was 25 feet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can't prove you wrong, but I don't believe it. Yes, well, uh, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff has his hand up. That's the target. Yeah, I was going to say my my friend in Argentina uh, was in in the Olympics representing Argentina as a as a pistol shot guy. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Uh, and they'd be a lot tighter person. than this. I, I don't think he put up bullshit pieces of papers like that. You probably <laughs> stabbed it with a gun. I did you, not you, hit, you hit it with the back of the gun. <laughs> At 25. Or a pair of scissors. <laughs> yeah, 20, you're 25 feet. You had a bump stock on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the bump stock thing, yeah. Well, anyway, and I used to be better than that. You know? Mm-hmm. Thank God. You're losing your trigger eye or whatever, your finger. Well, you know, <laughs> I shoot 100 rounds almost every Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, 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 almost without fail. And, uh, you know, still that's not enough. I, when I was really good, I was I was shooting 1,000 rounds every year. <laughs> when he was really good. <laughs> what a waste of money that is. Yeah. But it was you know, a lot cheaper back in the Exactly. Year. Yeah, how much, how much are a box of bullets? Well, I buy a thousand rounds at a time, and it's about three hundred dollars uh, for forty-five. But My God. Uh, back in the day, I was getting a thousand rounds for one hundred and fifty dollars. Of forty dollars a week, you were doing it one time. Yeah. Might as well drug habit. Right, right. <laughs> I was just say that. Really? Well, you know, I got other habits now that are a lot more expensive than that. You know, uh, between the photography and. Uh, you know, there's other stuff. You know, I spent 1100 bucks for a course on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, course in what? Photography. But people aren't oh, using photography. carpet anymore. Uh, yeah. What? I thought you said people aren't using carpet anymore. Uh, no, it's still 50% of the floors that are sold today are, are carpet. <clears throat> and a uh, guy came into my store that was interested in it oh, about two years it. ago. He's still interested. So, well, we'll see. Maybe I'll be out of the carpet business. Boy, I'll be, you know, maybe unemployed, unwashed masses. I wouldn't think it for, a, for a moment about uh, putting carpet in this uh, apartment. I mean, carpet, uh, wall-to-wall carpet. It's the cheapest per square foot flooring you can put in. No, but I don't want that. I know, but you <clears throat> see, you'd be spending, let's say that room is, uh, is 10 by 20. It's 200 square feet. Uh, if you were putting in hardwood floor, you'd be spending anywhere between... I already have uh, hardwood floors. I know, but if you were putting it in, uh, you'd be no, spending... No, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm talking about this apartment. I would not put in wall-to-wall carpeting. My wife would kill me. Of course. And you, you wouldn't if you have the hardwood floors. Although, years ago, everybody had hardwood floors in New York, and then they started putting carpet on top of it because uh, because people like you yeah. came along and ruined these apartments that's right <laughs> yeah, the floors are nice. put nails and staples in those floors yeah yeah but uh, hey, can i ask you guys why, why do jewish people care about where the capital or the where the uh embassy is in israel well we don't <laughs> i think i not do so why why does trump I don't. I really don't understand this. Well, because he he's he's it legitimizes Jerusalem uh, and and puts it in Israeli control, whereas uh, the Arabs. It used to be a split city, and uh, the Arabs didn't let people into their side of the city. And then when Israel conquered it in '67. <laughs> Uh, he has a Jewish daughter to, now, too, so he has to worry about that. No, but it was opened up to all. It was opened up to uh, Christians as well as Jews and, and Muslims, uh, whereas the, uh, the Arab, uh, uh, when they held uh, the, I think it was Eastern Jerusalem, uh, they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't let other sects in. And then there were memorials. Uh, there's the Wailing Wall and things like mm-hmm. that weren't really available to, to the Jews. It was a holy site. There's also a thing called the Temple Mount that uh, they were in control of. And uh, now it's open to everyone. Very, very holy sites. But what does that have to do with the U.S. Embassy? Uh, well, if the U.S. Embassy recognizes Jerusalem as the 
capital of Israel. But it isn't. Uh, hmm? But it isn't. But it Tel won't. Eve? No, but it isn't. How it dare? Is, how I dare? Mean, how I dare we go into another country like, and say it, what their what their uh, um, their uh, capital should be? But Israel wants that. You know, Netanyahu wants that. Yeah, fuck Why don't they fuck do it? Why don't they, do it? Why don't they just fucking... shut down the embassy and say, you got to move it there or get out? Uh, I don't think they can do that. Sure, uh, they they could do it. See, that embassy land in Tel Aviv is really American soil. Oh, so Tel we're... Aviv? Yeah, that's Tel Aviv. what she is now. Yeah, all... Uh, well, may I t can I inform you, Phil, that yeah. em American embassies anywhere in the world... Are considered American territory. That's what I just said. Yeah. So we so, so we want to put we want to territorialize Jerusalem. Or at least for the embassy. Yeah. Wh why? So people have to go through hostile territory to get their passports. Uh, no, it's not hostile at this point. While it's in Israeli control. It will be. <laughs> we'll sure see. Will be. We'll see. Probably by tomorrow. Every major country in the world has asked him not to do this. He said, he said they say he's opening a powder keg, and yet he's right. doing it. Now, is that, is that not stupid? Because he has when, thoughtfulness in him and all to think about things. Yeah. When he was running for president, moving the... Uh, uh, the uh, Embassy to Jerusalem was one of the things that he promised. I don't give a shit what he promised in other countries that he doesn't have the right to do. You know, I mean, no, wait a minute. He's trying to impose his will upon Jerusalem. That's why he's doing it. Okay? No, don't. Do something here. Get something done in this country. You haven't done a fucking goddamn thing. Those ready jobs. He's trying to impose his will on us. Hey, you think that you think they're going to be more jobs, Phil? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, there won't be. Uh, and the reason I think so is that uh, I well, are they going to be high? Pay, are they going to be high-paying jobs? I don't see why they wouldn't be if you move uh, uh, industry back to the United States. But there's going to be a problem. I think there's oh, going to be a crash. Oh, wait a minute. There's crash. a problem. Oh, there's going to be a big crash. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, what goes up must come down. It was the Dow. I know you don't go for the Dow, but it's like 24,000 now. Yeah, it's really, yeah. It's really yeah. up there, but, you know. Today was a bad day, I heard, or something. Today was yeah. a bad day? Uh, let me let me look. Every day is a bad day. <laughs> let me have a look Somebody. here. Let me have a look here. Hold on a second. Uh, Let's hope uh, it tightens faster and faster. Hmm? Yeah. Let, me, let me ask Phil this question. Phil, would you buy would you buy stock in a company that was going to give their new profits to their employees or give you a big dividend? Which one would you invest in? Uh, well, you want happy employees, and I want a dividend. Uh, no, if you're no, I'm talking about you're buying stock. Right. Well, you, why, why do you care about their employees? Uh, because you don't do well and you don't create <clears throat> profit. Without happy employees, I don't believe you. I think you want to make money. No, nah, there's there's got to be a balance. You want to make money. Everything. You want to make money, or why buy the stock? Well, you, you can you can make so much, but you can also kill kill the golden goose, and you can uh, you know milk the cow until there's no more milk. You need <laughs> to pull your fake, you need to pull your fake target out again. That's I bullshit. They do. Yeah, it's the same bullshit as your fake target. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People buy stock because they want to make money. And there's nothing wrong with yeah, that. But don't yeah. lie about it. Yeah, you ever hear the the fable about uh, you know the golden goose and they you know they killed the golden goose to get the gold eggs out of it and then there was no more goose to make the gold. But by the way, can I say that the price of stocks and the stock market and whether it's going up or down really has nothing to do with the financial health of the country. No, it's psychological. It's purely psychological. It's a system that works on passion. It used to be. It used to be that the only people who bought stock were very rich people. Now everybody has stock, 401ks, and things like that. And people are subject 
uh, to just whims of uh, what's going on in the news and so on. And uh, what? That's why when the stock market gets to the point that the people are buying, that's when it crashes. Uh, you know, when when uh, when the last suckers are in there trying to uh, glean a buck out of it, that's when it crashes because the the big investors have already uh, uh, pulled their positions, uh, and now you got all these. You know, it, it was the same thing with the housing market in the bubble. Uh, you know, when you started getting everybody and his brother uh, buying houses on stated income, uh, just and hoping. Sure. Yeah, and then you got. Then you ended up. They were short selling them, and uh, and and then Obama was bailing them out. Oh, he had to bail the banks out. Yeah. Well, Bank of Bank of America t today announced a five billion dollar stock buyback. They didn't announce a five billion dollar raise in their employees' wages. That's right. In fact, it's it you know, said it said that this it said that with this it said that with this it said that with this tax break, with this tax break, what most of these comp corporations are going to do is not hire people, but they are going to buy back stock. Sure. See, mm -hmm. and they should. That's their job, Alex. That's that's the job that's their job. But the, if you money. think if you think that companies which a long time ago let go of a lot of people uh, because uh, there was a downturn. They use that as an excuse, all right? Now, they use that as an excuse for paying people less than they used to pay them. And then they made people double up on their jobs. And now they're used to that kind of workforce of their companies. If you think they're going to go back and start hiring people, you're fucking nuts. Bingo. Yes, Kevin. You agree, Kevin? Absolutely, I was part of it. Yeah, I think this tax bill is abstract violence against poor people. Uh, I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Yeah. I mean, it totally, it totally is, and it's it, it is sold on a lie. And these these politicians that 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 sold their soul to to sign off on this, I have nothing but disgust for them. You know, we, you know, we, we, which we, proves again that Trump is running the country like a fucking corporation. Yeah. And, and, and you know what no, he's what planning happened? on doing what is what a, corp, what a corp, what a corp, what a, what a corporation would do. Uh, he wants to burn the country down for the insurance money. Yeah. <laughs> and bankrupt. And collect, uh, and collect uh, Yes. Uh, uh, Jeff has his hand up. Jeff? Yeah. I, I have a question from everybody. Uh, I, I remember when Trump was talking about, uh, uh, this great financial benefit that everybody who who normally is at any family with a, a wife and a husband and two kids who are the people who make did they say forty five thousand dollars that they were going to get certain uh, stock you know not stock but but benefits and taxes. Was, was that the right number that that they kept saying? I don't remember. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was around forty thousand, something like that. Some crazy, which if you really consider four people, forty thousand dollars depends on where you live. If you're well, in Connecticut, I, yeah, you're I guess talking so. about what thirteen hundred dollars at the end of the year. Yeah, at the end of the year, twelve thirteen hundred dollars. That's a hundred dollars a month. Where are you going to spend that? Yeah. Got a lot of yeah. places <laughs> to spend that. Hey, you know, some, one of these guys, one of these Republicans said, you can buy a car with that. What? Yeah. In, in, what, <laughs> yeah. in what universe can you buy a car a for thirteen for dollars a year? <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, with all this ta tax uh, 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 deductions that they're taking away, uh, the only people that are being given anything are the corporations who are having to pay 15% 15, uh, 15% less tax. I thought the uh their the tax rates were all cut uh and uh and that you know that would mean to everyone Phil, and can I ask you this if we how does this country make money to run the country? Well, if you Wait have minute, I answer my you. question. Answer my I'll question. You. No, you if you have if the businesses are generating more revenue, mm -hmm. you generate more tax. And uh, uh, so, would, would, would you uh, make up for that fifteen percent cut? Do you think? Um, 
It does if you now add a you're now you're humphering a little bit. Now you're uh, no. The answer is no. My point is, and then I want to go to Bob Eberth because he's got his hand up. Uh, 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 the fact of the matter is that a tax break like this, if it were truly a tax break, would lower the tax coming into the coffers of the United uh, States. Mark, uh, suck that up. Yeah. Again. yeah, Mark. We can't. Mark, we're getting that noise what again. Do? What do I do? You, you, in your Skype, there's a setting uh, that you, it said, uh, that uh, you click on it and, it, and it and you unclick it, and so it doesn't say in your, uh, in, in your preferences level of the microphone in in preferences yeah. under audio uh, or under. Okay, under, uh, well, I don't know where that is, so I'll just hang up. And I'll say good night. No, 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 I'll, I'll look and I'll be able to okay. explain. Just hang out for a second. Just hang you, out. He'll explain it to you. What do you have? Do you have a Mac or do you have a PC? PC. PC? Oh, okay, uh, let me well, tell you right now. Hold on a second. I'll tell them. I'll All tell right. them. What you do is you go up to Skype. Uh, wait a minute. Go over to Tools. See where it says Tools? Yep. Okay, go down to Options. Yep. Okay, then you're going to have a, a thing that says Video Settings. Uh, but wait a minute. You're not going to go there. You want to go to Audio Settings. See where it says Audio Settings? Yes. Okay, click on that. What do you see? Yep. Okay. Uh, I've got microphone, speakers, and ringing. Okay. What under uh, uh, there's a there's a box under microphone that says automatically yes. adjust microphone settings. What do you, is that is that clicked on? It's checked. Yes. Uncheck it. Check it. Uncheck it. Okay. Uncheck, uh, did you? Okay. Yes. Now you can get now, back to now. Now you'll work. be okay. Now you'll be okay because I you know, feel so much better. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and for everybody listening to us do the same thing with yours because what happens is is that because we're a group of people talking sometimes if you're talking and you've got that turned on then if somebody else starts talking it's going to start muting you a lot more than the system yeah, I, would have, I would have no idea i would have no idea okay now you're cool Just oh i got one other quick question or yeah. one comment yeah alex did you see coco the movie no. Oh yeah, Coco. I heard it was terrific. Dog, no. Really, I, I, I've heard nice things about it, but I'm telling you, the, sh the, the Shape of Water is the best picture of the year. I'm telling you that right now. I say it with no qualms that any of you will come back to me and say it sucked, except for maybe Phil because his taste is in his fucking ass. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to see it, and I'm going to say it sucked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, all I all I I can't even fathom what this president's doing. I mean, look at what he did this weekend, for instance, to our nat our national monuments. You know, I mean, then yeah. Phil's going to make wonderful wonderful out of this, but he hey, those things were made by Obama. Those, uh, those no, Obama. they were made. They were made by nature. No, no. And Obama, a man, might I add that what he is allowing to happen now, and correct me, Rob's been very quiet tonight, but Rob might want to join in on this, is he is defiling Indian burial grounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there could be a high-rise apartment there too. Yeah, yeah. But they they, they can they can now dig they can now dig they can now, dig, for they can now drill for oil. Yes, Rob. He wants the word Trump across all of it. Okay. Yeah, there yeah, right. Uh, Trump was there. It, the fact of the matter is that these areas where they're going to drill, because he took, uh, what, 85% of one of them away and 50% of the other, contain Indian burial grounds. You know, it's going to be like the movie Poltergeist. You yes, know? right, right. I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's terrible. It is just terrible. I mean, I want to know how far this guy's going to go to try and undo everything Obama ever did because he got mad at him because of that uh, uh, correspondence dinner a few years ago where Obama made fun of him. Because they say it all. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Everybody says it goes back to that. Yes, Bob. Yeah, I think it does. He's, he's uh, taking down the Indian... Uh, sites, but he's preserving the Confederate sites. Very interesting. That's true. Very interesting. But, you That's know, true. after all, they're just Indians. We trounced them once before and don't let them get uppity, right? Okay? Right. You know, who do they think they are? They act like they own the place. 
Right. Yeah. Or Pocahontas. Yeah. Po- oh, right. <laughs> oh, man. oh, man. I mean, it is just like this guy wakes up in the morning and says, what can I do today that's cruel? How you know. about you know, the evil, FBI. evil? Trump power. Didn't Trump tweet the the FBI? Uh, oh, yeah, he hates worst the FBI. ever, worst ever. Yeah, yeah he worst hit- Nixon hated the FBI too. How would that work out? I did. Did, did 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 Nixon hate the FBI? I don't remember. Did he lambast them too? I think yeah. he did. I'm not uh, sure. He had some choice words in the I remember. Well, yeah. That's yeah. why the Bradley thing was so good yeah. because <laughs> it's a lot like Nixon, Trump. You know, he's crazy. Nixon was nuts. Do you think he's paranoid? Like they got him in? Mm-hmm. I think he's, he's vindictive. Running. I think he's vindictive. <laughs> what, uh, Bob? I, I, he's wanting to now hire his own private spies because he doesn't trust the U.S. government. I believe that. He's, right. I see that. They're out to get him, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You, you can probably sell Someone's going to get him. Yes. Uh, yes, Jeff. Uh, Alex, did you happen to read? Uh, it was in the New York Times by a bunch of psychologists who said that they're not supposed to do this. But because obviously they're not with the president and they're not sitting down and interviewing him mm-hmm. and asking him questions and getting data. But Based upon watching him on TV, on the stuff he's doing today, the guy is mental, really mental. That's what those never Trumpers are saying because they want to use the twenty fifth amendment. True. They want to use the twenty fifth amendment to get rid of him and to seize. Uh, listen, we, 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 I'll we, take anything. We will do anything to get rid of him. We even right. that's we, exactly we, what that is all about. Calling him crazy. Yeah, how to get it's it rid of him? Really? He can't, crazy. Calling him crazy, you're just trying to use the 25th, and it ain't going to work because you know what? It's going to work. On to you guys. This guy, is, is, this guy has, 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 work, this guy has this guy has classic para- This guy has classic paranoia. Yes, Rob. It doesn't matter. Okay, Doc, Doctor Schwarzman, because it's going to be gone anyway. You think so? Thank God. This whole thing with Flynn is gonna is gonna snowball, and it's gonna get him, and it's gonna get a lot of other people around him. I hope so. Well, I'll tell you. They but say that within the White it. House, they're worried. Uh, if, when I today, I was looking at all the things that uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, the uh, the guy running the special counsel, uh, Mueller, Mueller, has been doing, and it looks to me like he's being very methodical. To follow the tracks, to follow, he wants now. He wants now to go and and look at uh, Trump's European holdings in banks. He's methodically going along, leading the trail, following the crumbs, and he knows exactly where it's going to wind up. But he wants to make sure he has a good paper trail on it. You know, he got rid of one guy who was acting improperly because he didn't want anybody saying that he was doing an improper job. And I think we will get to a point where Trump is going to try and let Mueller go because he's just oh, getting too close. Or he's going to resign. What? Because the, or he's going to have to resign. He'll just step down when yeah, he's I think that would be it. And cornered in. But he's going. Yeah. How will follow the money? That's where the solution is. Do you think do you think Trump could get reelected today? No. So no. Well, yes, uh, Mike. Who would they run? Pocahontas? I was, I was reading somewhere that uh, some doctors were saying about Trump's health. He says his health is not that good, period. Well, his doctor said he was great. Oh, his doctor's full of shit, too. <laughs> What's his name? Dr. Quack. Dr. Vinny Bombay. <laughs> Dr. Vinny Bombay. I mean, do you think he could get elected? To, I don't think so. I think he's, yeah. He won't. And, and I, think, I think give him another, you know, three years, which he's got left. And I think there's a good shot that he isn't going to have a chance at all if he's alive yeah. by then. And I don't think there's necessarily a good shot that he will be. You know, so. If you look at his face, his face is real red all the time. Blood pressure's up all the time. Yeah, nobody can tell me that he's got. Spray on tan. Oh, bull crap, Phil. 
He doesn't look good. Well, no, he looks paler since he stopped putting on the spray on tan. Right. He should not put, somebody should tell him it doesn't look good, really. Somebody should tell somebody him. Somebody should just have the nerve to say you look like shit. You know, you would, you would think a guy with several billion dollars could buy a decent suit. Yeah, you're right. Right. He's not very ill-fitting, this suit. Does he shop at Sears? I mean, Fat hey, has Sears. Buy uh, Sears sucker suit. Fat has the, the Fat has nothing to do with it. There was an actor once named Sebastian Cabot who was fat, but every yeah. time you saw him, he was fair. always wearing perfectly tailored suits. You know, yeah. uh, don't right. you think that Mister Billionaire could yeah. have afforded a decent suit? Alex, she's right. He's, he's a man of the people. Oh, he's not. Yeah, he's a man. He's, of he's, he's, the he's last a time I saw truck. pants, he's he wears a truck. Yeah. He is not a man. Hold on a second, Rob. I said he's. You say he's a man of the people. He's not a man for me. That's for sure. Yeah. No, he's a dictator. Yeah. No. You know, uh, I, you know pretty soon he's going to have to be buying his uh, suits at uh, big and tall. Right. No, big and fat. He's. But he, he's let, let's look at. Let's look at, let's look at just this week. Okay. He ruins national monuments. He uh, defends and endorses Roy Moore. Okay. Uh, what else did he do this week? He did a couple other things. Well, the tax bill. Okay. Uh, oh. Just all kinds of things this week that were just purely cruel. You know who you Israel? Sound like? You sound like the chief of police in that Eddie Murphy movie, Beverly Hills Cop. He re he ruined the buffet at the uh, something oh, club. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. A reference to a movie that is how many years old now, Phil? At least 20. That, 20 oh, a, a 20? Try, try 30. 30. All right. Maybe well, 40. He, Maybe 40. <laughs> Maybe 40. Yeah? Yeah. I see you do more. Oh, listen, when I mentioned Creature of the Black Lagoon, how many people here were alive when Creature of the Black Lagoon came out? Were you? Uh, t uh, you weren't. Were you, sure. uh, Tony? Was that? I was, no, I wasn't. I don't think so. What year was that? That came out in 54, didn't it? Well, then I was alive, but I wasn't, I wasn't looking alive. at it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I like watching old movies. So yeah. I, I, I have to be careful about references I make because some people weren't even alive when whatever I'm referencing happened. Yeah. I wasn't but alive, but I know what it is. still around. What was that? That movie came out, what? The original came out, what? 54, 55? 50, well, uh, three, 3D was 53, so it was 53 which, or 54 around Was there. that Lon Chaney? classic. No. Who, 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 no. uh, I forget the name of the guy. I used to know it, by the way. It was Bill it was, Myers in a rubber suit. <laughs> Maybe it's Phil's an issue. Yeah, no, yeah, when he uh, ben, ben Chapman. Ben Chapman was the guy's name who played really? the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yes. When you go scuba diving, you're the creature from the Black Lagoon film. <laughs> I wear a trilaminate suit, a dry and, suit. And, 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 and uh, Guillermo del Toro said he saw that movie when he was a kid and was greatly influenced by it. That's why he made this film. Because in that film, the creature falls in love with the woman with in the, the boat, woman. or he becomes obsessed by the woman in the oh, in the yeah. party. And at one point, she's swimming along, and he's swimming under her like he's almost fucking her. Uh, and it, 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 it and I see what why that influence was there because his attitude was, why don't we make a story in which they do find a a, a creature in the Amazon and uh, a woman uh, who works at the lab who is uh, just a cleaning woman falls in love with this with this creature is she uh, complaint about sexual uh, 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 yeah, predator yeah. well <laughs> she explains where his to, to her girlfriend where his penis comes from because they fuck in the film uh, and uh, and and uh, it's uh, Sally Hawkins uh, who is a marvelous British actress uh, she did a film years ago, which she was nominated for an Academy Award called Happy Go Lucky. Uh, it plays the the deaf, or rather the mute. Um, she's is she is she deaf? I don't know if she's deaf, but she's mute. Uh, this this mute cleaning woman uh, at this facility, which is called Occam Incorporated, which Occam is Occam's razor, if anybody knows the reference. Yeah. And uh, it it she she. She becomes very protective of this creature who's being treated just horribly, and it turns out he's got a lot more going to for him than just, you know, just being a creature. I mean, he's he's a god back home, and you find out why he was a kind of a god. But it's a beautiful movie. It's a love story, is what it is. 
in in just the most uh, it, it, it just wonderful fashion, photographed beautifully, music is wonderful, acting is terrific. It's just it's the picture of the year so far as I'm concerned. Who knows? Now I'll, I have to see it. Yeah, okay. I'll see a few more. I'll see a few. More. You'll go see it, Jeff, and I bet you like it. You know, it, it just, sounds interesting. The way yeah, it's very it. interesting. And and uh, if if you ever saw his other film, Pan's Labyrinth, you know he's capable. That, yeah. He's capable of doing very serious, interesting, mm -hmm. interesting movies. Yes, Mike. Did he did he uh, film this one same spot as the original? What? Did he film this one as uh, where they did the original one? The where Creature from the Black Lagoon. What do you mean where they did yeah. the original one? Probably on a, on a movie set. They did that in Hollywood at Universal Studios, okay. was the first one. No, this was, uh, and, the, and the, it's, just, it, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And the whole film is kind of done in green and pastels of green. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's just amazing. Just amazing. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I sell you too much on the movie, and then you go see it, and it won't be as good as I've been lauding it, but I think it is. Uh, Did you invest in that movie? Huh? Did you invest in that yes, movie? Yes, all my money, my, uh, <laughs> my, my Gabnet bucks are in that movie. That's right. Yeah. And a big container of peanuts. And stuff. Huh? <laughs> a, a Diet Coke and a big uh, thing of peanuts or something you, you ate right right <laughs> right but uh anyway you know i mean uh we're, we, it's just i it's i don't know it's just a terrible the whole thing is just terrible it's going it's going to hell and it gets worse and worse <coughs> every day and i just i i'm sorry for the american public because they were the people who were stupid enough to vote this man into office and they're gonna they're going to have buyer's remorse there, a lot of them are already. Like uh, Tony had a, has a friend who has buyer's remorse already. Yeah, my cousin, your insurance goes up every year. It's December. They put out the new rate. Every year the insurance has been going up. Just because Trump is there, it was going up 30, 40 percent when Obama was in office. If you wanted to cry, you should have cried then. Well, who you should re uh, blame are the Republicans and a guy by the name of Reagan who made it okay for the insurance companies to I make a profit? I blame George Washington because he chopped down that cherry tree. Uh, you know, why do you? Why uh, do you have to? Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Why do you? What you know? You, you, you're you're dealing doing a thing that the Obama Obama that the Trump administration does continually, and that is you try and divert the discussion somewhere else because I'm starting to make a point. No, you 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 blaming Reagan. Let let's 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 go no, back. I'm a blame, bit no, first. I'm blaming Reagan because what he did is until he passed uh, his executive order about the insurance companies, insurance companies had to be not for profit. Well, it was if it was an executive order, your buddy, uh, uh, what's his name, Obama, could have <laughs> passed another executive order that got rid of Reagan's executive order. Uh, but the fact is that what they did is they did maybe it wasn't yeah, it, years. It, what, all I'm saying is Reagan made it so that the insurance companies for the first time were allowed to make a profit, and once that happened, all of a sudden the the the, the prices just go through the roof. You know, it all changed. So don't tell me that deregulation makes for a better market. Maybe it makes it for a better market for the people who are the market, but they certainly don't make it a better market for you and me. Kaiser is a not-for-profit uh, organization. Isn't that true? Uh, I don't know at this point, to be honest with you. I, I, think, they, I think they are. Uh, Kevin, uh, wait a minute. I, Kevin, do you know at all? I, I think they are a for-profit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're in HMO now. Therefore, somebody told me it was a not for profit. Well, uh, it was, second. but I, I think it's not was. on pur not by purpose. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that they got me. December nineteenth is the date. I'm not going to have a prostate anymore. Uh, what, what, what day are you taking <laughs> out your, your De prostate? December nineteenth. Well, we expect you back here December twentieth. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I, I'll probably be home for a week. Uh, the the guy said, and then he says, I'm not going to want to sit anywhere for a long period of time <laughs> for another couple of weeks after that. Don't sit down. Yeah. Uh, I'm bring yourself a donut. Well, I'm sit gonna, down I, donuts. I'm ordering one of those uh, uh, computer stands that you can stand up 
uh, at the Ka computer. Kaiser, Kaiser is not Kaiser is nonprofit. It's nonprofit. Okay, yeah. uh, and uh, you know their their rates go up, and you know they're not that much cheaper, if anything, than anybody else. Uh, and it's a non yeah. nonprofit. By the so, way, we'll be off. Um, I've got to write a memo out to everybody, but uh, we'll be off uh, the uh, Christmas week. You know, the week of Christmas. So uh, that will give you time to recuperate. Recuperate. Yeah. Yeah. So just before you stick something else up my poop uh, chute. <laughs> <laughs> From what I know, people people have had that operation. Am I right, uh, Jeff? Really, it's not that uh, that uh, debilitating, is it, Jeff? Uh, I know a bunch of people who've had it. Yeah. And they they seem to be quite normal physically yeah. after uh, yeah, a month or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can hardly tell the difference. The only thing thing that I do remember is that their voice was totally it's a little bit different. higher. <laughs> yes, they kind of talk like this. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Did it sound like this? Uh-oh. No, it's much squeakier. <laughs> it's the first time he's been able to use that echo since he bought the thing. <laughs> Yeah. It would be funny if Phil's doctor voted for Obama when he goes into the office. Hey, my doctor is a Sikh. Yeah. If you seek him, he'll, you can find him. But, uh, yeah, he's got the turban on and the whole okay. the whole thing. Yeah. Alex? Yeah? You said the week of Christmas. Christmas is on a Monday. Uh, so is it the going for, like, prior starting, to so, Starting that, fr that Friday before. It will be the last Friday okay. until the following uh, Tuesday a week later. Okay. After New Year's. Huh? After New Year's. After New Year's. Yeah. I don't even oh, have to. It's funny. I was going to go change a promo, uh, uh, Rob, and uh, that I had a billboard thing and that said January 2nd. And I thought, oh, it's going to be different. And then it wasn't. It was okay, January 2nd. Second. So, you know. I did have to take some, uh, some intros you did, however, when you said we'll be back on. Uh, we're off the air from such and such a date to such and such a date. I had to cut out part of it so that it just had uh, the right part. But outside of that, I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't want to change much of anything. I'm just running the same old shitty programming we run during Christmas, you know. So, yeah, whatever. You're going to have, like, uh, Channel 20, the, the fireplace. Yeah, I know. Uh, Are you doing the old radio shows again and yeah, stuff? Yeah, old ra the old radio shows and then the... Uh, uh, life in the passing lanes and the old shows, you know, and uh, just just running that for a week, and uh, then we'll be back, you know, and with 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 more programming and less prostate. So, less pain in the ass. So Phil's prostate. Yeah. Well, I'll have a pain in the ass. How long is the operation, Phil? I don't know. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. They, You'll uh, get out, uh, so you won't know. It's all today, lap, it's laparoscopic these days, isn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, some robotic out. procedure. Uh, oh, yeah. Got, oh, I know. They have a robot fuck you in the ass and then core <laughs> it out. That, You'll never that's know. That's gay white gel. You know, I mean, I'm out. They give you, you know, you're you're totally out. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, you're totally oh, yeah. They're going to keep you. Know. They're going to keep you awake <laughs> for being fucked in the ass by a robot. Yeah. She'll be called model three two five seven. Yeah, yeah really. Hey, yeah, baby. and then when they ask you where did where did where did he touch you, you say everywhere. Uh, and Rob, I, also I'm I'm jar? gonna I'm I'm gonna start writing up some new promos so Rob can we can utilize his voice again. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, do, do, you do you want to choose do you want to choose the music, Rob, or do you want to just do the voice track and I'll add the music? I'll, I'll produce them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just you know, because I just noticed that, like for instance, we run a promo now that talks about going to our website and then what's on that website and where you can find things. And it's oh, the old, it's, it. it's the old website. <laughs> I changed <laughs> it. I moved everything into different places, and I suddenly realized when somebody was playing it the other night that Jesus, that isn't the one we have now. You know, so yeah, I, I like the promo that you still got Revelstoke Jim. Uh, yeah. He's doing the uh, drink, that the, one. the drink promo. The drink promo. Yeah, yeah. That's and there's one other that that um, uh, I hear Jack play. 
Uh, one, one other that uh, that Revelstoke Jim does. Revelstoke promo that Jack plays. Yeah, well, we keep playing those just to piss Revelstoke Jim off. So, and, you know. What the hell? Stop getting paid when he left the network. Yeah, so. he stopped, <laughs> stopped getting paid. Yeah, but we own everything. He never even cashed the checks that you sent them. That's right, with the Gabnet checks. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't cash anyway. So, you know, it's it's it was uh, it was a good idea not to cash them. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, you know, so, uh, yeah, we'll be off for the for a week there, you know. So did, did Phil say that you're going to be operated on by a robot? Uh, it's a robotic procedure, they told me, that uh, it's uh, the guy is guiding it, but it's got something to do with a robot, a robot. All I can think of when they're talking about going in there and doing whatever they do to your prostate, all I can think of is Art Carney and Jackie Gleason. Can you core a apple? <laughs> it can core an apple. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, uh, Jeff. Yeah. the The instrumentation is uh, probably got about six different devices that the uh, surgeon can manipulate, and and one of the devices is a very accurate uh, camera. So yeah. you guys are all camera guys. I love that. And the first thing they'll do is stick a camera down right. there and look around. And the other thing is that the guy, and the surgeon, will actually be manipulating anything through a computer, looking at a computer. So everything that he sees is really amplified maybe six or ten times scale. So everything's pretty accurate. And it's all very accurate. And uh, and it's and it's it's been a long time that it's out there, yeah. and it just keeps getting better all the time. Yeah, yeah, this this guy supposedly that's you know he's the king of this. Rob, if you think about it, with what you just described, Jeff, with the, yes. the computer and all the manipulation and stuff, and it's all computerized. Right. You could actually have a surgeon from another part of the country do the surgery remotely. Absolutely, and people have done that. That's Is this the cool. cyber knife thing or something? That's really cool if you think about but it. But if you I went to, to Thailand, it would be cheaper. No, actually, if they asked me to do it from here, uh, <laughs> during the show, I could you know, probably remove your gallbladder and several other internal organs while I was thinking sure. of it. Yes. Oh, I, I, and my, and my uh, voice box. And we could replace your heart with a new one that's good and nice and kind. Yes. We uh, lost internet connection. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> net neutrality is not going to be good for remote surgery. <laughs> now, that, that's brain surgeon that he needs. Yeah. Uh, Talking I, about net neutrality, did you hear AOL is starting to charge again? It's going to be five months. Four ninety nine or something like that a month for AOL. What do you get? What, what is AOL? Yeah, I, what do you yeah. get with AOL? America Online, yeah. Yeah, what do you get with it? Who's going to log in and what? You got mail. Yeah. <laughs> do you get yeah, to hear I, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 <laughs> I am surprised to hear it because I've been using AOL for my email for years. And, uh, have, have, yeah, I just got to notice that they're going to start charging $4.99 are, are they going to charge for the e month. Are they going to charge for the email service? No, apparently you can still get the email. Yeah. But uh, their browser and stuff, you're going to have to pay $4.99. Oh, boy. And their well, browser well, sucks. Well, uh, uh, I can see that company going out of business soon. What are they going to charge for Bing? Um, you know, the Bing browser? No, that'll be It's like Google. That, that will continue to be free. Uh, well, you know, not if they can charge for it. I got to tell you, though, uh, uh, um, uh, my uh, Chrome that will continue works to be free. for having, literally uh, well, having, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what, I, what do you call it, uh, for, for carrying my, our video of our show, constantly keeps crapping out. Uh, but but uh, Safari never craps out, solid as a rock. So I suggest to everybody, if you're having trouble with our program on Chrome, crapping out go on, on a you, Safari. Huh? Go on a Safari. Go go use Safari. Or or even Edge is the new, I think it's called Edge, is the uh, new... Um, I uh, shave with Edge. No, but it, uh, Edge is the new... Um, uh, uh, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I got Microsoft it. Edge. <laughs> uh, it should also hold very steady, so... 
You know, I don't. You know, I think Google Chrome has a lot of a lot of problems. I think we give Google way too much credit for being good. You know, they they. But uh, anyway, I just mentioned that so that people will know. So anyway, so what have we talked about tonight? We've talked about how cruel our president is. That this week was just everything he could do that was just bad. He did. You know. Come on, Phil. You can't be that happy with Trump. You're not. You're not stupid. <laughs> uh, Trump lover. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, you 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 know, you can look at the glass being half empty. Yeah. Or you can look at it being all empty. I look shattered. It over. Huh? <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, We'll, we'll see what the results are. I mean, this is what he ran on. This is why he was elected. Uh, half the country didn't want that. The other half that <clears throat> voted did. He, he says that, uh, well, we're still going to build that wall. We're still going to build that wall. And he hasn't even started. Hey, we give the up. wall. You know those idiots in San Francisco, uh, Kate Steinle, they, they let her they let her murder uh, they let her murderer just walk just because it's a sanctuary wait a minute, wait a minute, city. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Only Hold on a second. He isn't a murderer. Well, I, wait, I, wait a minute. He isn't a murderer. He shoot the gun that killed Kate Steinle. That I don't know. I didn't follow the case. He admitted to it. He admitted to and, it. And, you know, and, and what defense did they use? Uh, they, they overcharged him. And if they would have, if they would have done it for uh, manslaughter uh, or second degree murder, he would have been convicted. But at, at Gaston, who was the DA well, in San blame, Francisco, says don't he blame a done bunch of uh, don't bunch of blame a bunch of decent lawyers or the system. Blame decent the lawyers? fact that That's you an no that you had that, that you <laughs> that you had a, a, a lousy lousy bunch of uh, city attorneys uh, prosecuting the case. You didn't the know what they were doing. Is 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 Gaston is married to a Mexican woman, and he. Yeah, but I'll tell you, that's proof positive, though, that all these Mexican immigrants kill people. Right. Build the wall. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the hell with the wall. Yeah, if that wall were built, that guy would still have been here, and whatever happened would have happened. Six times he was sent back. Six times. And uh, Sheriff Mercamini, whatever his name was in San Francisco, he was responsible for that. And uh, so, but, you know, the ghost ship uh, uh, that burned down and 36 people died in Oakland, mm -hmm. the guy who ran the party, he's being charged with murder. And uh, the other guy who organized uh, the party, he's being charged with murder. But... Do you think that uh, they they would charge this guy who broke into a car, stole a gun, went down, shot it? Now, whether he meant to hit it or not is, is, you know, is... All I'm saying is that in a court of law, whether it was the fault of the DA or anything else, he was found not guilty. And so, therefore, it is your job exactly. as an American to assume and to give him that not guilty. He was found not guilty because of... No, they, they, I don't care what Sanctuary you're saying. City he, loving. He, case closed, hey, case, Phil. Hey, Phil, you're not an American. You're, you're a fucking Nazi Six. German. Is <laughs> that that Mexican guy thing that, that he always talks about? Huh? The Mexican guy that was on trial, that guy. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I know, Phil always says that. Yeah. About Anyway, uh, hey, uh, Mike, good having you here again tonight, pal. Uh, you too, Jeff. Tonight you were in rare form. Kevin, you better be there the next time somebody yeah. shows up to see fucking Santa, God damn. Yeah, if I knew you were going to be there, I'd have been there, Phil. Yeah. I'd let you I, sit by on the my way, lap Kevin anyway. is our official, Santa, <laughs> our official Santa Claus on this show. <laughs> Uh, I was going to get a selfie with me and you. <laughs> yeah, yeah we've been good. Uh, you know, Charlene know. Martinez, thank you for being here. Thank you, Tony Magno. Always nice having you around. Uh, Phil Meyer, very good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Rob, when you, uh, my one of my favorite people in the whole world. Uh, that's all I'll say. Not thank Phil, you. you. Uh, Bob Eberth. <laughs> Thank you. And, of course, Mark Green. Thank you. If all of you would give a nice wave goodbye, everybody would be happy and know the show was over. 
Bye-bye. We'll see you later. I'm Alex Bennett. That's our program for tonight. That's the ramble. And uh, as promised, we had our citizens panel. As promised, it was uh, robust and interesting as always. And we hope you'll join us again tomorrow night, but we'll talk about that in a second after I remind you that next over most of this same station is uh, the intersection with uh, Jack and, and the bigot. Uh, and, and then after that, connections. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>